Jared Poland Fro Nose photo.com this is a quick tip that is brought to you by Alan's camera it's where I get all my gear new used old good quality pro you name it you give them a call whatever um, today's quick tip is how to get more power and life out of your flash you know it's a simple thing you know what's interesting when we we're learning flash or when I was learning flash when I was younger and I would pop you know I'd be like oh I could shoot with 100 speed film and then what would happen you just take a picture and at, at 100 speed 100 ISO you know that you need to dump a ton of power to get a lot of light because the image sensor isn't as sensitive at 100 so what happens is you dump a ton of power and your flash just totally drains all the batteries and it takes forever to recycle before you can shoot again so what is you know a lot of people tell me they have that trouble when they're shooting with their flashes now my batteries die too quick it, it the flash doesn't shoot far enough uh, my camera's too slow, the flash won't recycle quick enough. The simple tip, the quick tip is bump your ISO. Don't be afraid to bump your ISO when you're shooting with the flash. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sometimes when I'm shooting with the flash, I'm at 800 ISO, I'm at 1600 ISO, I'm at 2000 ISO. And the reason I'm doing that is because my flash, the battery, I won't dump as much battery power on each flash because I don't need as much light because my ISO is up higher. So for anybody with a, you know, a, a regular point and shoot camera, hey, pop up. With anybody with, you know, not point and shoot, but digital SLRs of any kind with a pop up flash, Bump that ISO. Don't be afraid to go to 800 ISO. You're not going to see much noise at 800. You're putting out a lot of flash. You know, you're going to put out a flash, which is the friend to your camera. So you're going to still get good, solid quality images when you pop a flash at a higher ISO. Your flash recycle time will be much quicker, meaning that you can shoot pictures much faster if, with the flash if you want to. You're gonna, your flash is going to be more effective at a longer distance because when you're dumping so much power out of a flash at lower ISOs, your flash can only light up a certain amount of a, a certain point before you get all that fall off at the distance where everything goes black and dark because you're dumping so much power close but when you bump your ISO to use the flash you can it's just it's just a quicker thing and the camera's gathering it much quicker so you don't need to dump as much power because your sensor is more sensitive to light when you bump your ISO so that's a way of saving batteries because you're not dumping full power every single time it's a it's a way to allow you to shoot quicker because you're not waiting three seconds for a full recharge or a recycle of the batteries and you're able to shoot things a little further away because you're you're at a higher ISO you're not dumping as much power so that is the quick tip remember that that you're when, when you're shooting with flash don't be afraid to bump the ISO because it's important that if you're shooting a wedding that you're not always changing batteries one for environmental purposes that you're not just constantly throwing them out because you're using them so quick but for the fact that you know you should be able to shoot quicker uh, shoot longer when you shoot at higher ISO. So don't be afraid to shoot at 400, 800, even 1600 with your digital SLRs when you're popping either an external flash, an off-camera flash like this, or a hot shoe flash, or the flash that is built in to your camera. Don't, oop, boop, I just popped the flash. Don't be afraid to pop that flash at a higher ISO. So that is your quick tip. Thank you, Alan's Camera, for being the sponsor, and I hope that helps you out. Jared Poland, Fro knows photo.com. Bump that ISO. See ya!